Yo, what a dooski, Teddy Brewski, what's the deal, Shaquille O'Neal, what's the word, Larry Bird, it's the boy, Remo's Reactions TV, uh, Reactions for short, uh, do me a favor, when y'all get a chance, make sure y'all like the, like the comment, excuse me, like the content, comment, subscribe, and, uh, you know, fuck with your boy, man, we on the road to 1K, then 5K, 10K, then we gonna spike it up to, to 50K, you know what I mean, but today, man, what reached the dashboard is uh, Cowboy did a live after after uh, Black Sam's interview. So we about to tap into this, man. I'm going to give you my opinion. All this is just for educational purposes and entertainment purposes. Check me out. Hold up. Let's do it. Yeah, we rolling. Early morning. I'm going to skip back also. I'm going to skip past all this bullshit. Get off on nigga. Simple as that. I done gave you niggas opportunity time after time. I told you, leave my name out your mouth. He Don't talking to Nina down. boy. He talking about Nina Still boy. Stay at home, at the house, in the house. You're not coming outside. Yo, for one, you can't tell motherfuckers what to talk about. We content creators, dog. And the reason why you're the topic of discussion is because it's a lot of bullshit-ass motherfucking inconsistencies and in the shit that you've been saying. And out of everybody that was there at the shop all of a sudden you getting all this money selling all this fake ass knockoff crenshaw merch and bullshit pumas nigga don't get mad at nino boy he ain't doing nothing but just calling out your motherfucking bullshit nigga he's steady out here putting false narratives on the internet jeopardizing niggas lives so, jeopardizing know. niggas lives is crazy ball stop Okay, pull up and do what? Get to the meat and potatoes, dog. Let me get my shit right by Mike. You still talking about fighting, dog? For one, Nina boy never disrespected the dead homie. And I ain't trying to take up for bro. I'm just, I watch his interviews. I see what his content is about. He never disrespected Nip. He called out your bullshit. So don't try to push that narrative, bro. The main thing is, you was there. You was right next to Nip. You was hiding in the fucking doorway. Then you said you was eating food. Then after that, you go and do all these interviews, getting money. And, and we just trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. Don't put nothing on me that I have not done. Don't put those false narratives on me. Simply that. I'm a man and I'll man up to anything that I've ever done. Worst thing you can do is make up shit. Oh, 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 oh. I got, I got, I got some too. Yes, sir. Top of the morning. All this is allegedly yes, for educational purpose and entertainment purposes. Make sure you hit that subscribe. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm out here in Vegas. Yeah, that's where I'm at right now. I'm out here. Yeah. I'm out here. Right around the corner from that Circle K. That's 7-Eleven over there. Eh, so what? Let me get to it. Cause now you want to fight because the nigga make content because you fucked up. Be straight telling and somebody would be in trouble. Reason ain't nobody in jail is because they got they own false shit. They just making up clickbait, you know. But that's all. Yo, listen. For one, you can't talk about telling because you told. You either gonna be a, a gang banger or a civilian, dog. You can't be a gang civilian. Let that sink in. Don't let that go over your head. Their audience that, that want to entertain that shit. Any nigga that still tap in the to uh, uh Madam Twenty Two or Pathetic Flaco or. Baby, baby, girl, any of them cowards. He said, cowards Yo, listen. Listen, listen. You want this, you want this motherfucker that doing content on you, but you doing content on them, yo. You gotta relax, man. This is Rainbow's Reactions TV, dog. You can't not be mad at motherfuckers pointing out your, your bullshit inconsistencies and the things that you say pertaining to Nip's death. You was right there, bro. 
You didn't throw a punch. You didn't fucking, you waited till the shooting was done and then you came outside. Don't sit here and perpetrate the fraud. And that's on you. You know, the best thing you do is not tap in with them because they feel they popping with this bullshit. You know, you know uh, I've never seen a, 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 a white dude just make so many niggas jump through hoops. Keep talking about white dude. Of, For you know, what? He, he, done, he done called all the niggas zesty, which is he's absolutely correct. Whatever. That has nothing to do with you, dog. What the fuck that got to do with you, man? Nobody want to hear that shit. You blaming other motherfuckers, other bloggers and YouTubers about your bullshit. Man, ain't nobody trying to hear that. Uh, got over there. Uh, everything was cool. Uh, and uh, no matter what, if you in the hood, I don't care who you are. If you in the hood, you know, homies gonna pull up and ask you who you with. You know, uh, Apparently, I'm with a uh, Cali and them I got there, whatever. Uh, the homies pressed, like, you know. Yo, so look, the whole thing was, the whole thing was is that this is what, in my opinion, what ultimately was Nip's untimely demise. He brought Cali to the hood on the strength of him. Wasn't nobody finna touch him. Nobody gonna fuck him up. Nobody gonna try to get money out of him. And it was front line and shit. So, at the end of the day, the night before, which was March 30th, that was my birthday. I'm born, that's my birthday, March 30th. Nip had a dinner with Adam. It was his birthday and his pops. And they had a meeting about the politics that was how motherfuckers was mad. Big U. That Cali coming through the hood wasn't through him and he felt some tight way. Sent Loose Cannon over there, allegedly. Loose Cannon said it himself. And then turned around while he was on the phone with Cali. Man, I don't know why Cuz did that. Y'all following me, man? Can y'all hear what the fuck I'm saying, man? Is this shit registering, man? And this nigga sitting here defending Big U. Watch this shit. What y'all doing or who y'all with or whatever? You know what I mean? Which they gonna do? That's what we do. But as far as Cali being in any any danger or, or any or any or any or anybody gave a fuck that Cuz was there or felt some type of way, uh, you know, the whole hood was excited for Cuz. I mean, that was a, that was a big event, you know. Uh, you bullshit, dude. Road, you know what I mean? You it's, bullshit. You know, you know that shit. Maybe I need to tap in with Cali and see how he feel about it. You know what I mean? But uh, no matter what. Uh, Khaled was safe, you know what I mean? No matter what, you know. Uh, yeah, for the time being. You know, but then Nip got killed, stupid. That, that was like one of the, that was a great day that day. You know what I mean? We had a real good day that day. That was, uh, you know, uh, that was like a final chapter. Like, I'm Khaled, done you know, with this like, clown. Uh, I finally made it, you know what I mean? He finally, he had finally really had made it after that video. That was like, it brought tears to my eyes just listening to the song and uh yeah and, uh, watch him bro you know what i mean uh like i said our initial call we thought it was gonna be some issues over there out there uh wasn't no issues whatever uh, explain the thing about this social media you know i look at i look at they throw my name up in the air they throw my name up in the air, they throw my name up in the air. Black name in the air, black name in the air. Uh, but I know all these individuals. Might. You know, so when I see something in the air and and I know it don't fit that. that but Black Sam don't so fuck with you, dog. What are you talking you about? Know, that person don't get out like that. You know, these people I know. So uh, if I see something concerning, uh, uh, concerning Big U or something, I know if it's real. I know if it's false because I know the individual. I see Bullshit. Them, I see black. Uh, black Sam don't fuck with you, my nigga. Don't don't sit here and perpetrate. And Big U, you gonna defend him because you scared of him. That's it. Why were you talking all this Big U shit when you were doing all them interviews? Why wasn't you doing that? Now all of a sudden it seems like you trying to big clear Big U name. For some some apparent reason, you're trying to clear that man name. For what, bro? 
Everybody knows Big U was upset about Nip bringing DJ Khaled to the hood. Everybody knows and saw the text message. Big U trying to contact him so he can get a couple of dollars out of his ass. So for you to sit here with that ugly ass motherfucking hat on, two big ass Kobe Bryant jersey on with no shirt underneath like you swole, bro. You got to relax, dog. You looking real bad out here and you lying. And it looks like you defending the person that may allegedly may have been have sent the motherfucker to go kill Nip. So I don't want to hear this shit, dog. I'm going to let you talk, no, though. We're going to keep this shit short, though. Can you? I see these fake niggas with fake scenarios on my homeboys, you know, because uh, they pitting us against each other. You know, you're trying to get us against each other, you know. Uh, it's putting us, and, not pitting. And the squad was so successful because we was a team, you know, uh, no matter where they say it, from the nigga cleaning the parking lot to the nigga folding the shirts, uh, everybody had a job. We lost some boots all the way up to Black Sam. We all had a job, and, and that job needed to be done. When we got there in the morning, that parking lot had to be swept. So somebody had to do it. More likely, that was lost and bruised. You Your job was to secure the parking lot. The parking lot. <laughs> well, yeah, I was more or less the stock boy. Uh, and, and the shit that I did, I feel I'm a builder. I'm good with the hands. So, you know, uh, I helped build the floors. I helped do the drywall. I helped do the roofing. You know, uh, you know I'm, I'm more than just a parking lot sweeper. But if I had to sweep the parking lot, I would. I was a team player, you know. Uh, I could be out there fucking with the parking lot. If Nip rolled up, Nip would help me. Yeah. It's funny that he's, it's fucking funny that he's trying to explain his job and what he did. Yeah, all that's true. That's because Nip told you to clean yourself up and he was going to give you a job. And that's it. But one of your other jobs was to make sure that you were, to, to make, to be on point in case anyone was, to secure the parking lot, motherfucker. That's what one of your jobs was as well. Let's not get that misconstrued. So, so for you, yeah, all that is true. Land drywall and folding shirts and all that, but you was one of the ones that wasn't less supposed to let no one get close to the fucking bag. Protect the bag at all costs. You in there worrying about some motherfucking food that you could have ate outside and been right by Nip's side so you would have seen when homeboy was walking up and approaching. You would have peeped the energy that it wasn't right, but you was, I think you was in on it. The time he'd come in the back, you know, uh, it was no job that that I had to do that Nip wouldn't do or a job that I had to do that Black Sam wouldn't do. You know what I mean? Uh, like I said, we was a team. They worked know, as uh, cooks. They did, man. They, they was, that's why Nip was humble so niggas. Uh, and now through the social media and everybody having their opinion, uh, all it does is tear down the team. Uh, or, one, or one individual. Uh, None of the team fucks with you. And it, uh, it, it didn't tear down, down the team. The whole community. So <clears throat> now that our community is tore down, uh, niggas are still tearing us down. We trying to build. After them, that was a devastating loss for our community. So now we're trying to rebuild. Niggas like me, niggas like Big U, niggas like Black Sam. And fuck you, fuck Big U too. Because y'all use it, cap artists. You know how you built when Nip died? Guess what you did? You went and bought. You did a bunch of interviews, got all that money, invested in fake Puma merch, knockoff shit, fake Crenshaw gear, selling this shit, and doing all that t shirts. Fucking posters, everything. Then you get a shop. Are you talking about Big U? Like he helped some shit and he did some shit? Nigga, you cap. Oh, what's up, baby? I can't call it. What's going on with you, baby? I'm 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 live. I'm doing a little little video real quick. Have a seat, man. Yeah, man. Are you in a rush? Oh, go ahead, do your thug dizzle. Oh, you gotta relax. Bro, I can't. Oh man, you gotta. You going that way or you? Uh... All right, man. Listen, man, come through, man, man. If you can make it peaceful, make it peaceful. You heard me? For sure.
But yeah, man, my fault, man. But um, I was young, bro, coming up. But uh, this nigga is just literally sitting here defending Big U, trying to clear his name, dog. I'm gonna tell you one thing, cowboy. You know, you're you're a very you need an Academy Award actor. Excuse me, uh, Academy Award as an actor, because. You make you 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 put the icing on the cake. You make the shit sound real good, and then when a motherfucker take a bite of that shit, it got doo doo turds inside of there. Uh, I'm a burp in your ear, bitch. All right, y'all y'all heard that right? So what about the time where, where Big U came and was trying to trying to fight Nip, and Black Sam came out shot in the air. His Nip's dad came out with a bat. Big U took the bat from his dad, allegedly, and then Black Sam lick a shot, and next thing you know, the police start shooting at him point blank range. So what's, if it ain't beef, if it's shots fired and all that shit, that's not beef over some alleged equipment. Come on, man. Then on top of that, Fats, Big U again was trying to press Nip, and Fats dropped his motherfucking big, goofy, knock kneed ass, sat him on his pockets, and then a week later, Fats got killed. Rest in peace, Fats. So how is it not, not a beef? Nigga, you sound stupid, nigga. For real. You really do. When we got in the industry, when it was time to time to uh to shop our mixtapes we put the big you you know because he was the plug you know uh if you ask me he was the face of the uh, 60s i never really needed he's the most powerful I mean, motherfucker in the 60s but nip you know uh, he was more like a plug for triple us. lap that nigga the way i see it like i said i'm a time to my opinion you're a bullshit. Your opinion is bullshit right now, dog. Because you can't even look at the fucking camera. Your eyes is crooked. You know you're lying. It seemed like this is someone that... Someone made you follow some type of script. Or at least ish, uh, topics to make sure you bring up Big U and, and, and clear his name. Because I never heard you talk like this about Big U. Uh, if uh, he gonna stand on what he stand on. You know, uh, if he right or wrong. That's one thing for sure. I know he's going to stand on what he's standing on. And, and when I do talk to him, and I hear it in his voice, and I hear the hurt in his voice, it hurt me because I know the feeling uh, of. So when you talk to Unk, which is Big U, and you saw that clip when he, when they, with him, Kev Mack, and they said justice for Nip in the comments, somebody put it in the comments. And them niggas started hysterically laughing. What the fuck did you think about that, you stupid idiot? So that was love? Uh, when you have love for somebody and you get accused of uh, some bullshit, you know what I mean? Uh, and me, all these individuals that, that people accuse and, and they say, may have did this, or may have done that. I know these people. You know, I done so what? Them, I done popped out on these people. You know how corrupt and how fucked up and, and the good and the bad of these motherfuckers, too. Normal, that's for sure. You know, if I pop out you and you had something to do with, bro, you're not going to know why I popped out. You know what I mean? So so I know if, if it was a nigga around me that had something to do Cap. with, bro, he ain't been around me, that's for sure. Cause Cap. Because nigga not going to be able to act the same. That's for sure. That's for sure if you had something to do with, bro, anybody. So anybody that say something about these niggas on the internet and uh, shut the fuck up already you know, uh, you know, uh, Nip, was, Nip was my bro Nip was my little homie so uh, I'm not gonna uh, so if you if Nip was your little bro and your little homie then why the first time Eric Holder walked up and you seen him why you ain't coming and stepping between him and Nip and, and, and try to do something so he doesn't get close to Nip. Just so he can or just to see if Nip even wants to talk to the man. He could have been like, nah, I'm good on. If you'd have been like, yo, bro, like, what's going on? You good? Yeah, I'm good. What's going on? Man, I'm just trying to holler at Nip. Now nah, he ain't really trying to talk right now. 
You know what I'm saying? Come back. But you were scared, nigga. Don't say that. For real. I'm, I'm not going to bend it for nothing for nobody. I'm not going to. I don't care who you are. If I felt a certain way about my little homie, if I felt you had something to do with it, and it's nothing to talk about, you know. Uh, but I done sat back and I done analyzed it over and over, you know. Uh, yeah, because you I know it. Somebody I can blame it on other than shitty cuz. No, I wish I could. I wish I had somebody. I wish I could say I. Yo, who sent shitty cuz? That's the motherfucker you need to blame it on. Why he ain't come with a red shirt at the beginning? You know who sent them, bro. Don't sit here and do that. You know, big, big you. Matter of fact, this video is fucking over with because I'm tired of looking at this, this fucking lying ass motherfucker, man. Bro, I don't even know how you fucking sleep at night. Yo, Remo's Reaction TV, man. Put this shit in the goddamn comments. I'm going to do a part two to this shit. What this timestamp is? 3142. So I'm going to start that bitch at 32 minutes. Holla at me, man. Road to 1K, 5K, 10K, and then 50K. So support the movement, man. Share the video, please. Like, comment, and share this motherfucker. And I'm going to go crazy on this nigga because he's drawing straight up. Peace, y'all.